I'm really big on um, Quakers announcing themselves to the world and and owning the glory that is Quakers and all of the greatness that we have and labeling that and not just being like, oh, I'm a humble person in the world. I'm at my 20th protest, you know, this week, but I'm just going to wear black and sit in the corner and just, you know, have my little sign. I want people to say, I am a Quaker and I believe this is right. And I am here at this protest as a Quaker. My name is Laura Bowles. I live in Mill Valley, California, and my meeting is Strawberry Creek Meeting in Berkeley. I had really a vision in my meeting. It was pretty powerful. I just felt like I was listening to a um, business meeting, droning on about something or other, and I just kind of lost it and just stood up and was like, I, I don't want to hide behind Quaker process. I don't want to hide behind endless committee meetings, talking on and on. I don't want to hide behind consensus. I, I want to do something. I want to do something now. I don't want to wait. And we cannot wait. So I started a group in uh, my meeting called Quaker Action Worship Group. And um, I said, you know, we are going to concentrate on action. We are going to go out with Quaker banners, Quaker t-shirts, I, we have got to label ourselves Quaker and be present in the most vocal way. And it's very unQuaker. It's not what Quakers like to do. They don't want to be, you know, showboating or saying, you know, how, how we got the answer. But I am saying we got the answer. And I want people to see what we're all about. And I want to uh, offer us up to the world. We started just showing up at events and... Um, saying, we're here, we're, we're standing up. Any kind of march or public witness of any kind, we start with um, silent witness. And that can be great and beautiful because you're in the middle of this, um, you know, march or this rally. We're in this island of silence in all of the, you know, all the protesters, everyone's running around, you know, trying to find their friends or the police are usually everywhere. And there's you know, helicopters and squad cars and fire trucks going, you know, and we're there silently. For me, the power is bringing that silent, loving, holding a presence to a, to a, a group of people who are angry and who are so disturbed and so frantic. And um, it can really bring another level. Quakers have a good reputation. We have good PR. We have good, we have good marketing value. You know, we, we're, we're, I think we have a reputation as a group with integrity. I think we have a reputation as people who say what they're going to do and do it. And um, so I think we should use that reputation. We should use that power we have. I mean, and, and, and flex it. For us, it's a practice and a way of life, but I also look at it in a very utilitarian um, way also, in, in that it's a tool. And what I mean, what I'm, when I'm saying it, what I mean is Quaker listening, and by that I mean listening for that of God within someone. When someone's talking to me, I am listening actively for the light within them. The challenge is to see beyond and see in and pick out the parts that are of the light and, and fortify and concentrate those pieces. And that is just the time consuming and kind of rather disturbing. You know, it's just like, oh God, I have to slog through another you know, meet and greet, and more people, more people. But I think that's what Quakers, the strength of them is, and the power of them is. Um, and I wouldn't have liked to see more of it in the world. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday. You can watch all our videos in this playlist here. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here. You can support us through our Patreon here. 
Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.